Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest version release of PowerToys for Windows 10, Windows 11, version 0.92, which, as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, had a couple of handy improvements, one of which was the ability to toggle the tray area icon. Check the video out for more info. And a couple of other extra little goodies were thrown in there too. It was a nice release. Now, as you can see, just a couple of days later, we've got a point release, bumping it from 0.92 to 92.1. Now, this release is a light release, as I would say, but it does include three important fixes since version 92 rolled out last week. And in the previous version, version 92, File Explorer's preview functionality which is called File Explorer Add-ons, the functionality broke for users with per-user installations. Now, Microsoft has patched that issue in this release, version 92.1, so those previews should now work properly again, according to Microsoft. And then we get two fixes for the new command palette, which is a fully extensible quick launcher with a richer display and additional capabilities without sacrificing performance. And this rolled out with a recent update. And the first issue affecting the command palette was that some users noticed that Win32 apps weren't showing up at all in the app extension. And Microsoft says now it's patched that bug and you'll now see all your installed apps as expected using command palette. And then the second fix for command palette and the third fix overall Apparently there was a problem where the command palette kept resetting every time it loaded. Now that issue, as you can see, has been addressed as well, meaning you won't lose your state every time you open the command palette. So light release, but nonetheless three important fixes rolling out since the release of version 92 last week. And... Power Toys can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store and over at GitHub. And obviously, if you are already running Power Toys, you can just click on Check for Updates, which will start the update process automatically. And as I've also posted recently, which I'll leave the video linked as well, Microsoft is also working on a redesigned dashboard for Power Toys, which I think is going to bring a lot of extra functionality into the app. I'll leave that video linked if you'd like some more information and I think we can expect that to roll out in an upcoming release. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.